What's up guys, it's Wes here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I solve the 5x5 or you could also call it the professor's cube. So I like the 5x5 because with this method I'm going to show you guys, you can definitely solve the 4x4, the 5x5 and the 6x6. I don't know about the 7x7 and higher because I don't have anything higher than a 6x6 right now. But this method is pretty easy. If you already know how to solve the 3x3, you only need to learn five new algorithms. And they're very easy algorithms with the exception of one. So I'm going to try and explain how I solve this as quick as possible. And real quickly, I'll also show you guys the notation I'll be using as well as how I'm going to be setting this up. And after that, I'm going to just do one quick time lapse solve just because I like time lapses and I think they're kind of cool. So for this cube, which we're gonna try and set it up like a three by three. So what I mean by that is if I put this into what this formation right here, this makes it a little easier. So we're gonna make these three right here, a center piece and you've got edge pieces and corner pieces, right? So once we set it up so that all the centers are the same color and all the edges are the right color, then you can literally just solve it exactly like you would a three by three. And I'm not gonna go over how to solve a three by three in this video because I'm gonna assume that you already know how to solve it. And if you don't know how to solve a three by three, you can look it up, they're really not too hard. So I'll do a quick notation kind of thing. This is the notation I'll be using. Most of this is standard, but I don't know what they call these middle and center slices. So capital R, lowercase r, I'm gonna call this M, capital or lowercase, it doesn't really matter, there's only one, lowercase l, capital L, and so then that's right to left, and then with the ups and downs, capital U, lowercase u, I'm gonna call this C, lowercase d, capital D, and then of course you could guess capital F, lowercase f, never gonna use this, I'm not gonna give it a name, lowercase b, capital B. And I don't think we use the lowercase f's or lowercase b's, but anyways, that's what I'm gonna be calling it, and whenever I show you guys an algorithm, I'll show you guys on camera, and I'll also type it out on screen so you guys can follow it along and pause it or whatever you want. So I think the first step would have to be to scramble the cube. So I'll do that real quick. So I think this is scrambled enough for me at least. So the method behind this is we're gonna try and first solve all six centers so that this is gonna be all white, all red, all blue, etc. You guys get the point. So I always like to solve white first and then, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna solve one side and then solve the opposite. So I'll solve white and then I'll come around and I'll solve this yellow. So for solving the first white side, it should be fairly intuitive. Uh, setting up the cross, I'm not gonna show you guys how to do that because if you know how to solve a three by three, you should be able to solve how to get this white cross right here. And then in corners, I will show you guys because it's not exactly like a three by three, although it is pretty much the same thing. I guess this could work for a three by three. But if I want this white corner to go where this yellow corner is, I'm just gonna put it in the right spot so you can see here, and I'm gonna move it out of the way. I'll move the corner I want in the way put this in the way and move it back to where it wants to go. So I'm just gonna do that with all of the white corners right here and it should not be all that difficult. Okay, so there's one center solved. So next we need the opposite center, which would be the yellow. Now, I'll give you guys the first of the five algorithms right now and that's because the way I solve the yellow is I try and solve one band through the center. So either these three or these three and then I'll tell you guys what I do. And then, well, I guess I'll just tell you. I either solve these three or these three, and then I make yellow bands in the center row, so they'll look like this or like this, or you know, any of them, and then I'll just insert them into the top. To get the band in the center first, what I do is I have an algorithm that will switch the top of the face that's facing you with the right of the top face. So I think of it as down, over, down, other way, over, up, over, up, other way, over. So that's the way I think of it, but I'm gonna write it down in the actual notation below. But so I go the middle down, and then you can go over the right, little r down, other way over, middle up, other side up. That's how I do it, and it'll get it there. And I'll put the actual annotation thing on the screen. So I'll do this one a little quicker. And it doesn't matter whether you go clockwise or counterclockwise first, 
All that matters is you go clockwise, then counterclockwise, clockwise, and counterclockwise. So now we have this one yellow band, so I'm gonna try and make another yellow band, and these two are right here. So what I'll do is I have a yellow corner here, I'll slide it over, and then this is the second of the five algorithms, and that will be double R, double U, uh, U2, and then double R prime. That'll insert your band from here over here, or of course you can do it with the L's and do them like that. So now I got that set up. So I'm going to bring this to the right and bring that. It's going to these are going to fill in right here, and I'll do. There you go. So there's two of the five algorithms you'll need down, and those two are very easy algorithms, and this should not be a problem. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to solve these corners. So I want this is the orange center. So I want to get all of these three orange. You know, these four all need to be green, red, etc. So in, here's the algorithm that I'll be using. Or I guess there can be two algorithms, but if you want to, you could make it one if you want it to be slower. So let's say I wanted to insert this bottom green into the top left. So bottom right of one face into the top left of the top face. What you'll do is it's just double R, U, and then double R prime. Just like that, and that'll insert it here. Or if you wanted to, you would say you wanted to move these two blues onto this blue face, and you want to move both of them. What you do is you do double R, U2, double R prime. Now I'll get these greens in. And so there's, I guess, technically two algorithms, but I count that as one just because they're so small and simple. But I guess it's technically more than one. So I hope I did a decent job of explaining that. I did just cut to where I have all of these corners solved. And from here, we want to fill in these center pieces to make them match. And this is gonna be the same algorithm that we used up here to solve this yellow, except when we do it down here, let's say I wanted to put this green piece in, it's gonna take the green from the face that's facing you, it'll take the top, and it'll also take the top from the one above you. So this green is gonna switch with this red. So it's just down, over, down, other way over, up, over, up, other way over and so now that's solved I'll do it with one more side can I find one that happens to be convenient okay so this blue and this orange are gonna switch down over up over up over so they switched and did I switch yeah but in this face does end up getting rotated but it's not really a big deal so with that, I think I'll see you guys when I have all these centers completed. Okay, so I've got all my centers in place. So now all I need to do to solve this cube is make it so all these edges are matched up. So right now you can see they're definitely all scrambled, but I'll show you guys an algorithm that will get this done. And I believe I will need to show you a total of three different algorithms. And once I've shown you all three of them, then you'll be able to solve the cube. So the first algorithm, which is the one that you're gonna be doing the most often, is gonna be an algorithm that switches, if you're facing, if the cube's facing like this, this piece right here is gonna move down so you can see that it'll fit when it's moved down like this. So I have it like this and it'll be switched down. And then you'll also need to have a piece that is right here. So if you're do, there's, you can do this with the right or the left. So if you need a piece to move from here to here or from here to here, you'll do different stuff. But so if you're moving it on the right, so from here to here, then you want your piece that's gonna move right here to be right here. So you can see my yellow red piece is gonna match up with this yellow red piece and this orange green piece is gonna match up with this orange green piece. And note where the colors are. So the orange, and the green are on the same face on this and they're gonna match up to be perfect and the yellow and the red are on the same face on this and they'll match up to be perfect so you do want them to be opposites okay and on the left it's just vice versa this piece will move here and this piece will move here and then the piece that's here will of course move here but that's not a big deal because this side's already messed up so don't worry about it only worry about the two pieces that you have control over so for the algorithm for this, I'm actually not gonna say it out loud because it's too long. So I'm actually gonna put it on the screen, but it is fairly rhythmic and it doesn't take too long to memorize. 
So here it goes. So there you go. That's all it is. It's just a couple moves and you'll get used to it pretty quick, especially because this is the main algorithm that you'll do almost every time. And so when I come across the next version or the next uh, time I need a different algorithm, I'll come back. So here we have another situation that needs another algorithm. And that's where this piece right here, the center piece, literally just needs to be flipped. So I'll put the algorithm for it on screen and I'll also do it real slow. So yeah, not too hard, but this one is a little harder to memorize, I would say. This one probably took me the longest time to memorize. And right now, all my edges are actually solved and I didn't get one of the parodies I was looking for. So I'm gonna make it happen real quick. Okay, so this is the one that didn't actually happen to me naturally, but I'm gonna make it happen, and I, or I just made it happen. And that's where this piece needs to be switched with this piece. And so orange and white, white and red, they're flipped like this. That's how the orientation needs to look. And I'll put the algorithm on screen and I'll also do it real slow right here. So yeah, that one is not too hard. I actually found that one fairly easy to memorize. But basically, if you can memorize these last two algorithms I've shown you, then once you got those down, you'll be able to solve the cube because the other algorithms are either really easy or the third one I showed you, you just use it so much that you'll get used to it pretty quick. So from here, this is literally just a three by three and you can solve it just like a three by three. And there should be no problems, no weird things happening since this is a five by five. It's literally exactly like a three by three. You can F2L it like I just did right there, or you know, however you solve a three by three, that will work. So I think that is about it for this video, guys. I will do a time lapse in just a second here, and I will see you when I'm done with that. So this is the first video I've made on how to solve any kind of cube. If you guys have any tips on how to make these a little bit better, because I don't really know how to make these all that great, then feel free to leave that in the comments. I can make all sorts of other cubes too. I have quite a collection down here. If I could aim it down a little bit. You can see, I, you know, it's not the world's largest collection or anything. But it is a little bit of a collection and I do know how to solve all of them. So if you guys saw any that you want to make a video on 
or sorry, if you saw any that you want me to make a video on, feel free to leave that in the comment section. Also, to the Summoner's War fans of this channel, don't worry, the Summoner's War videos aren't leaving. We haven't uploaded for a while. I've been in the hospital for the last week and a half, so I personally haven't been able to make anything, and Hyper's been busy with stuff too, so that's what's been going on. I hope you guys like these kinds of videos, and if you want to see more, feel free to leave that in the comments, but I think that's really all I have for today though, guys.